Here, boy. Hey, go, man. Catch a ball. All right, y'all. It's a windy evening out here in Southwest Virginia. God bless America. Headed down to my pigeon loft, hoping that we got some more eggs hatched today. As y'all can see, I keep that pigeon loft lit up. Cut it off around 8, 30, 9 o'clock at night, y'all. It's time to see if my little twins hatched or not. Oh, yeah. There's two of them right there looking cute as a button. Man, they're big, too. They must have been born early this morning. Woo! Hey, that just fires me right up. Finally, we're getting some babies on the ground here. Of course, y'all know we got this one back here. We'll be banning that one in just a couple days. And then we got this set of twins down here, which came out of the big bully and, uh, and his wife, of course. So I'm fired up. Next thing to do, I don't know if y'all watched my video yesterday, but I asked people if I should put this egg over here in a nest bowl and if that would disturb the the cock and the hen that are responsible for that egg and it was a resounding no it won't disturb it and go ahead and put a nest bowl there so i'm gonna do that real fast all right i just had to go back up to the house to get another nest bowl for that egg and just saw this view and thought i'd include it in this video sometimes it just blows my mind how pretty this view is looks like something should be on a painting but anyway, back to pigeons. The dog buried his ball in the, oh, there it is. Buried his ball in the leaves and couldn't get it out. Anyway, I gotta get this nest bowl right here under, well, get that egg in this nest bowl and get it right there in that exact same spot. I'm really nervous that this is gonna disturb everything, but I'd much rather disturb uh, kind of the nesting process than just lose another egg because it just rolls off. So let me see if I can't make this happen. Just. Just get out of there, buddy. Oh, goodness. All right. I'm, take, I'm taking the egg. Oh, gosh. Oh. All right, so there's the egg. Seems to be fine. Now, the plan is to just kind of scoot, 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 scoot. And I really hope she just sees the egg and jumps up there on it. That clearly has not happened yet. I wonder if I can somehow encourage her to do that. Oh, mercy. Now I've messed it all up. All right, y'all, I'm going to come at her from this angle. Oh, good gracious. See if I can just get her to get up there. Oh. Well, dang. Well, I guess her flying off ain't the worst thing in the world. Hopefully, when she goes back up there, she'll just see that that egg's in that nest bowl and just hunker down on it. So if she doesn't, then we got a real problem. I might have to get Jess to sit on that Here egg. we go. On the nest bowl. Hopefully she sees the egg there. Daggone it. This dog is all the way up under this shed. Good gosh, that boy's crazy. All right, I'm just gonna feed all these birds and hopefully she'll forget about all that commotion after she eats and just go back up there and sit on that nest. I've been standing here for five minutes and that video y'all just saw of her flying off, she hadn't even gone back up there again. So I'm gonna feed it. I need to feed the loafer loft as well. As y'all know, if you've been watching, there's nest boxes in there now. And I need to check it and see if there's any eggs in there. And also check, well, look at that. Right back up there on it. Daggone, I don't wanna just film for 45 minutes waiting on it to get on that egg. But anyway, I gotta check and see if those, the cock and that hen that made that nest under the water trough there, see if they laid another egg there. Cause I'm curious to see if that's gonna be one or two eggs or, or what the deal is there. Man, I wish this bird would just jump up on that nest and get on its egg. That thing's probably getting freezing cold up there. It's, well, here we go. It's like it doesn't see the egg. Good gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh, it sees the egg. It's on top of the nest. All right, it, has, it hasn't it has sat down on the egg yet, but it is standing on top of it. Ain't that something? I was standing here just being as quiet as can be for five minutes waiting on that thing to jump on that nest to try to film it. Dag on it, it just came off of it. I think it knows where its egg is though. But my point was I've been talking for, or not talking for five minutes, being all quiet, wanting it to get up there. And then I start yakking and it gets up there on its egg. So anyway, hope it works out. All right, let's get these birds fed.
I'm mixing some grit in that food now to try to harden up these eggs, get them some more calcium. I was really hoping that he'd get off the nest when I fed everybody because I wanted to get a look at these little 20 Twinskies by myself without getting absolutely mauled by this beast. But anyway, that's as good a shot as we're going to get of them unless I just take them all the way off. Man, them things are cute. I think they're cute at least. Y'all might not. While we're looking at babies, we might as well look at this boy. Old single bird right there. Y'all can see he's getting huge. His eyes open today. It'll probably be sometime this weekend that I decide the name of that one. To all y'all that have commented on the video of me asking for name suggestions for that bird, I appreciate it. If you still want to be in the running, I'm going to decide on Saturday. I just decided. So go to that video. I'll put a link to it in the description and comment on it what you think a good name for that first pigeon that y'all just saw should be. Oh, yeah. Hey, second egg under the water trough this is what i'm talking about this place is turning into an absolute egg producing machine i'm just fired up about it there ain't no telling how long that first one's been down there heck that thing might even hack all right y'all that's it for this video appreciate y'all locking in with me on this one fired up about the twins being born it's very exciting to see your hard work pay off and actually see two birds hatch out of you know, two birds that you paired together, you intentionally bred them, and now those two birds are alive and well. There's something about raising animals. I just love it. I just love seeing them be born, and I love even more the fact that soon these things will be premier athletes of the sky. These things will be flying, you know, across states, basically, and they were raised right here in a cobalt tub. So fired up about the twins fired up about the other egg underneath the watering situation in the loafer loft. Not so excited about the fact that I've been down here for 20 minutes messing around and no bird has gotten in that bowl to sit on that egg. Literally every single comment on my last video, I'll put a link to that one in the description as well, I reckon, said, oh yeah, Jack, throw a bowl in there. They need a bowl. Yeah, it'll be fine. And now I've done it, and it seems as if the egg has been completely abandoned. But hey, that's okay. It's a learning experience. As I said earlier, this place has turned into a egg-producing machine. Not only eggs, but actual baby pigeons, as we have three in here now, one of which is an absolute brute over here. As I said, I'll be naming him shortly from y'all's suggestions. But don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Appreciate y'all.